Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today what I have for you guys is a brand new GTA 5 online video and this will serve as your money guide for this week's bonuses here in GTA 5 online. We have some excellent opportunities. Finally, we have a good weekly update with some really good bonuses on businesses here in the game. So we're going to jump in and talk about the three most important ones this week. I will showcase to you guys step by step on how to maximize your cash earnings in this game with these bonuses. Rest assured, you're going to make a ton of money this week in GTA online. It's it's nightclub week let's go baby and with that being said let's jump into things jumping into our first bonus this week this is a nice way to make lots of money faster than normal with the nightclub it is double speed on the nightclub warehouse goods production so while double money on nightclub sales would of course mean double money for the actual business that you earn from the nightclub, double speed on the goods production is almost just as potent with the only extra work required of you as a player is just doing more sale missions. This video won't be a full nightclub guide as I've done that in the past and I will link you to that in my description box down below. But just to refresh here, after you buy your nightclub, make sure you upgrade your nightclub here. So go to your upgrades, get your equipment upgrade, get your staff upgrade, get your security upgrade so you can have the most effective as well as efficient business. Focus on producing the following items here and the following types of goods. So if we go to warehouse management, you want to focus on cash creation, pharmaceutical research, cargo and shipments, sporting goods, as well as South American imports. If you're looking to completely fill up your nightclub, then once some of these other ones fill up, then switch to organic produce and printing and copying. But don't do these originally, and especially if you're not gonna fill up your nightclub all the way, which is how I recommend you run this business. These types of crates also correspond to certain other businesses in the game. So for example, cash creation is gonna correspond to the cash creation factory and the counterfeit cash factory for your MC businesses. So you do need to own that in order to purchase the cash creation warehouse technician and apply a technician to cash creation same thing when it comes to pharmaceutical research you need to own the math lab as part of your MC businesses for South American imports you need to own the coca-cola lockup for sporting goods you need to own the gun running bunker and then finally for cargo and shipments you will need to either own a hangar or a special cargo warehouse I would assume if you have one you probably have both but nonetheless either or for cargo and shipments for that. This doesn't take away stock from any of your other businesses. You just need to own them essentially as a prerequisite to apply technicians to start creating these types of goods here. So what I recommend you do is the following. If we go to nightclub or let's go to home here, you can see that my South American imports, pharmaceutical research and cash creation are maxed out. Now with double goods production speed, instead of the usual 20 hours it takes for South American imports to fill up, it'll only take 10 hours. And I would recommend once you fill up South American imports, these two will follow right after I would just sell the business I wouldn't wait to max everything out because while you could earn of course a lot more money from waiting for cargo and shipments and sporting goods to fully create this will take you still even with the double goods production speed well over 20 hours and so it's not really something you want to focus on when you could just keep selling you'll get a little bit of sales of this and you'll still get all the money from maxing these three out and just generating the most profit from these types of of goods from your nightclub right here. That's gonna put you at a higher profit per hour than waiting to sell a full nightclub. While a full nightclub will give you a higher nominal sale value of 360 stock, selling, you know, 120 to 150 is probably the sweet spot or maybe even 160, as at that point, what you can do here is just start selling your nightclub more often to make more money over the long term. Now on to the next bonus I want to talk about here. This is in regards to double money on the nightclub daily income. And this is referring to the money that you can accrue in your nightclub wall safe. Excuse me for the darkness. I don't know why it's so dark inside my nightclub right now. It actually looks a little bit better on my recording monitor, but in game, it's very, very dark for me. But either way, this wall safe here can hold $250,000 at max capacity. As you can see here, it turns red. And this will generate you $100,000 per in game day. This week while it is double money granted you're at least at a nightclub popularity level of 90 percent if you're afk the nightclub business for afk goods production and sales obviously it may be worth it to jump back on the game yourself every now and again to do some of your nightclub management missions and so that way you can maintain your popularity as well so you can keep up with this awesome wall safe cash generation here now there's two ways of remaining at your 90 to 100 percent popularity so what i'm going to do here is while i talk about that i'm going to collect this money because normally you're going to make fifty thousand dollars on the wall safe with the double daily income it's now one hundred thousand dollars per in-game day 
this week. So you need to maintain a popularity level of 90% in your club, but even if you get close to like dipping under, it is okay. Don't worry about it. It's totally fine. I'll show you how to get more popularity extremely fast and easy. So you can either opt for paying a little bit of your money and what that would do is dip into your profits a little bit, but you can simply change your DJs once every two in-game days here to maintain max level popularity or what you can also do is opt for throwing out troublemakers when you get the chance or just simply doing other nightclub management missions if you see that blue dot over here inside my nightclub this is a troublemaker that we're gonna throw out of my nightclub right here for those who have never seen the troublemakers or any of those missions where you need to throw someone out of your nightclub let's just showcase one right here this dude is sitting here with his piss washer truck unloading but you could see he's super super drunk what we want to do is just press right on the d-pad and eject this troublemaker from our nightclub because you know we don't want this guy hanging around just look at him he's faded off his rocker so let's toss him out of here i love this oh <laughs> that's good so from that you will get ten thousand dollars as you can see right there because that does count as a nightclub management mission, so it is gonna be double money. But that will also get your popularity up at your nightclub. And as you can see, we are at max popularity with our nightclub just from doing that. Now there is a method of just like going into passive mode once you enter your nightclub, and then you can get that guy to spawn quite frequently. I think, you know, it won't happen more than one in-game day or something like that, but as long as you go into your nightclub, that's what people do. I usually just do some missions and stuff like that, because it seems like whenever I go to passive mode, either before I enter my nightclub or right as I enter my nightclub it's not guaranteed for that guy to show up or the one who's down there by the bar or sometimes people are in the bathroom which is the area like right below me on the first floor things like that but nonetheless try that out for yourself that's the fastest way to gain popularity now like I said the other option here is to do your nightclub management missions that one we just did the eject troublemaker is a nightclub management mission but for some reason it doesn't count towards your weekly challenge progress so you need to do the other ones and in total there are 20 other different types which I reviewed in my weekly update guide but I will list them here on screen so you can get a taste for everything that's on offer these are the ones that you'll need to do to complete the weekly challenge of your three nightclub management missions for that $100,000 like I said throwing at the troublemakers while that is going to increase your popularity and that's what I recommend you do to increase and maintain your nightclubs popularity for some reason if you're focused on the weekly challenge then you'll need to do other ones because I didn't get the completion progress for trying that out. But nonetheless, you can do other nightclub management missions for Laszlo, for Johan, for Tony. So just give Tony a call, for example, and request a popularity mission right here or, or a nightclub management mission. Request club management. Even though we have max popularity, I'll just show you exactly what this is like here. All right, so Tony's going to call us and this one, nightclub management, we need to eliminate the drug operation and take out all the dealers. All we need to do is just drive around and blow up these three dealers dealers right here kill them and you're pretty much good to go you will get a lot of popularity for your nightclub so that's just an example of one you could do right there I recommend calling Tony so let's just approach one of our first dealers right here and we're just gonna kill each one drive to the next and get this done basically as quick as we can this guy was unfortunately all the way at the bottom of the stairwell I should have just drove right down the hill over there but nonetheless let's hop in our car and take out the other two dealers coming up on the location of the second dealer here you can of course use your oppressor mark II or whatever you want I'm of course driving this really slow Canis Seminole Frontier not that this SUV is super slow it's actually a great off-roader and it is decently fast for it being like an older style vehicle based off of the second generation Jeep Cherokee but this is just how I play the game. I get so bored using the Oppressor Mark II, using the Sparrow. If I have to go up to Polito Bay, I'll use my Sparrow, but I try and avoid the Oppressor Mark II because that makes the game insanely boring in my opinion. Like to the point of I would rather just not play GTA Online than grind with the Oppressor. Just using land vehicles makes this game a lot more fun and it makes it feel like I'm playing a totally different type of game. All right, and the third target should be right here in this alleyway. I'll just roll up honestly rather than get out of the car. Just take him out with a couple headshots, destroy his guard. Wow, I sprayed those guys down. And we are pretty much good to go. You'll yet? get the call from Tony. And now we need to search Burton for the Coca-Cola. So we are looking for more dealers here to find the operation. Donde esta los drogos? Where is your operation? Is it over here? It would appear it's right here. So we have found the lockup and everyone's just gonna light you up right here so make sure you take some cover all right i'm just gonna use this cover right here maneuver my way around you could probably just shoot an rpg honestly and blow everyone up but we're gonna use our normal weapons you were looking the wrong way my sir there's one other guy oh whoops 
Oh my god, I just broke your camera, buddy. All right, let's go inside now. Oh, here's the door. And it's basically like a stash house interior is what this is. And I like cannot... Oh, I'm gonna die probably. Let me make sure. Snack up, tonic up. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, I was not using my shotgun right there. Whoa. And now we need to plant the explosives on these little drums. And we're probably gonna need to detonate this and get the heck out of here. So plant the second explosive bada bing bada boom and the final one is gonna go on this condenser right here perfect and now we just want to leave we got to exit the lockup because this place is gonna absolutely blow us up if we don't leave you can hear all the beeps not good now that we've left just want to hop in your car we want to detonate the explosives so just call your contact for detonate bomb Kaboom, and we leave the area, and that is when this mission should finish. It looks like we may need to lose our wanted level as well, possibly. All right, and there we go. So the nightclub popularity is increased. We pass the mission. You don't need to lose your wanted level to complete the mission, but you will need to lose your wanted level in general. So I'll lose this right now. But, you know, in general, if you're using your oppressor mark too, you can probably get a mission like that done in like three minutes, honestly. It won't take you that long at all. I'm just driving this slow SUV around. But this is one of the removed vehicles featured back for a limited time this week. I love this Jeep Cherokee, man. It's such a cool looking truck. Next up, we have another huge bonus for this week with the nightclub. The nightclub source goods missions are double money, RP, and you can also get double the goods with the source goods missions. So these were introduced with the Criminal Enterprises update. These are triggered by calling your contact Johan Blair on your phone. These missions function very similarly to business battles where a randomly selected type of good is going to be targeted for retrieval, and the missions can only be started if the selected goods type is not fully stocked up in your nightclub warehouse. There is a 20 minute cooldown between these missions if you want to farm them, and while there is no direct direct PvP competition, other players can still interfere with your mission by attacking or destroying your goods entirely. There's two types of missions. We have a tugboat mission and removals truck mission. With the tugboat one, you just head to the port of Los Santos to retrieve a crate of goods from a dock tugboat. The tugboat is obviously going to be guarded by a bunch of enemies. You collect the goods and after you bring them back and while you're bringing them back, you will face three waves of enemy reinforcements. With the removals truck mission, you're basically just going to intercept and steal a Benson truck that is loaded with goods. It's going to be on some type of road up here, not all the way in the north end of the map, but like the middle half of Los Santos here and San Andreas this is where you'll find this removals truck but basically you steal the truck before it reaches its destination you clear out the gang that's moving it you take it you take the truck back fight three waves of enemies and return it to your nightclub now depending on the types of goods being sourced you'll get different amounts of those goods for one of these missions so for example after calling Johan and starting it up you'll get one unit of cargo and shipments or South American imports two units of sporting goods, three units of cash creation, seven units of organic produce, and 10 units of printing and copying. The rewards here are fixed regardless of mission performance, and of course, excess units are forfeited if your stock is full. So with that being said, let's call up Johan and check out one in action so you can see how it plays out. Once you call him, you request the nightclub goods, and this will get our current stock level up in addition to you know, the double production speed on the goods we're already getting right now. All right, so the mission we have is the cargo with the removals truck. So the truck is going to be up here. It's going to be driving. It Once you get close, it'll start driving. It's going to come down this road. So I'm going to take this road to get there. We are coming up fast on the location of the truck. And all you need to do is just shoot the driver, shoot the passenger. Of course, the truck is going to stop. We want to take this truck now back to the nightclub. And here is our first wave of enemies that we need to fight. Remember, you have three total waves, three separate cars of triads that are actually going to hunt you down. And just like that, you bring the truck back to your nightclub. You're good to go. Now you will get extra goods. It says in the bottom left, you have delivered the goods to your nightclub. I would like to see how much I got from it. I don't know if there's a way to check, but you can see your goods value right there. 1,160,650 is what we're at currently right now. And now that we are back at the nightclub, let's quickly chat about selling your full nightclub. So at this point, you've probably been playing GTA Online, collecting your daily income at least every two in-game days that you followed with this guide. And you'll also probably periodically source your nightclub goods through your contact Johan for additional nightclub crates. Well, now it's going to be time to sell and you're going to want to make the most money possible, right? With the Criminal Enterprises DLC, the high demand bonus received an update where now players can earn up to a 50% bonus for your sell mission. Each player outside of your organization or MC club is going to provide a 2.5% bonus and this goes up to a maximum of 20 players in the lobby. This was primarily done by Rockstar so that 
you would have some type of incentive to start selling your product in public sessions again, because you can earn up to 1.5 times your normal sale value. Is it worth the risk? Probably if you've been playing GTA Online for a while and you know how to handle yourself in a public lobby or if you have friends, but say if you just want to play it safe, that's totally fine too. I play on PC, so I stick to invite-only lobbies. Honestly, in my opinion, there's just too many cheaters in public sessions. I don't want to lobby surf for an hour just to find a highly populated session that's also going to be free of any type of modder. I'd rather just get my sale done when it's ready and then start working on the next one. And that's especially true while the goods are double this week here in GT Online. So let's go to sell goods. We are going to sell everything for $1,160,650. Now remember, this took me half the time to generate because my nightclub sourcing or, or goods production, I should say, excuse me, is double the speed this week. So instead of it taking about 20 hours to earn this million dollars right here in the background with the nightclub business, this took me only 10 hours. Now, unfortunately, we have to sell using the mule custom. I should have never bought this thing, man. This is the worst sell vehicle out of them all. Either use the Speedo Custom or the other big truck. I forget what the truck actually is. It's just the big nightclub sale vehicle. If you buy this one, you have to use it in between like 120 to like 300 crates produced or something like that. It's quite unfortunate. And there you go. Once you do everything you need to do for your sale mission, depending on what it is, Tony's going to get his $100,000 cut, but we just made over $1 million. We made $1,060,650 okay. for very, very fast and easy work here that was all generating in the background. I didn't need to do any of the nightclub source missions or the nightclub management missions if I didn't want to. That's just to keep your wall safe money coming up. And of course, the source missions will just help you fill your nightclub faster because you'll be accruing double the goods that way. But this could just be in the background while you farm Kyo Perico, Dr. Dre, the auto shop contract even doing these like daily type missions like the Madrazo hits and things like that. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this money guide. This isn't a full nightclub money guide, you know, and, and just jumping into a full nightclub guide. I already have a video on that. This is just for, of course, the bonuses this week, talking about how to make money fast and easy with the nightclub and especially these new nightclub bonuses. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest every day. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Much love to everyone who's been supporting the channel recently. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. We are growing like crazy. And again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. Make some good money this week here in GT Online. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.